I'm Brian Gary, the American Builder. Do you know what TIO2 is? I didn't know, but by the end of this video, you're gonna know. My buddies at Boston Cedar do nothing but premium products, and this TIO2 is the best I've ever seen. If you're gonna use a piece of pine in the field for the rest of your life, you will only use this. If your lumberyard doesn't have it, you're gonna get on them and make them carry it. My buddies at Boston Cedar have come up with the finest radiata piece of pine in the world. This is from Chile, a single source to these guys. I haven't seen a finger joint in years that I like. I can't even tell you how many times this cuts back and forth. Very unique system. Before we go to coating, I just want to point out, this is smooth as glass on both sides. So when it gets coated and you get it in the field, you have an option to flip it around. It's the only piece of wood that I've ever seen that this is reversible. Some minor scar in the field, and that's trash, not for this one. But the way that they make this, the way that they coat this, there won't even be a minor scratch, nothing. This will come out like a piece of glass. Every unit that pulls up, they check for moisture content. This is not happening in your big box stores with your cheap lumber, let me tell you. This, as long as it's under 12, this is a 10. Now I'm over testing, but this is a 10. As long as the moisture content is under 12, it is ready to go. Hold on, I didn't press it down right. 10, all right, load them up. Everybody told me already, this is just the first coat. There's so many, there's other coats going on, it's gonna bake overnight, it's gonna dry. The ends are already caked. You already got one coat going before you even get into the coater. Now, the ends are sealed already, Brian, to help with the uh, potential moisture absorption. Right. What's happening now is the, the raw substrate is entering the pressure rollers so that the wood condition is forced into the substrate. What you'll see when the boards come out is also a white coloration to it. That's raw TiO2, which not only helps with the opacity, it helps with the first coat adhesion. In other words, this is not even the first coat of top coat. This That's is two additional steps. This after is just this. the TiO2. That's correct. The application of the wood conditioner with the TiO2, it'll go on the racks, it'll dry overnight before it even sees a liquor coating. I gotta tell you. It's coming out the other end, and that's typically finished coat to me when I go to buy a piece of wood at a big box store that I shouldn't be shopping at anyway. That's right. In many cases, you'll have one coat application, which does very little technically to support that board in the field. Now, now I'll never shop there again because I know better. Okay, so you just heard me say TIO2. What is it exactly? My buddy Craig at Randolph Products makes the TIO2. So let's go to his factory and talk about code secrets. We probably can just show you pretty stuff, but he actually makes the stuff we're putting onto this prime right now. Craig. Brian. How's it going? Good. Welcome to Randolph Products. Thank you very much. What I know. Truck. What a truck. <laughs> Great truck. Huge. Yeah. Great. And uh, veteran. Veteran support. Absolutely. I'm a veteran myself. Didn't know that one. No, nope. I appreciate it. it uh, veteran owned business? Veteran owned business. Yeah, I didn't read that one in the Q for sure. 1932, we went into business. And in fact, in 1932, we started by making uh, military coatings. Wow. Okay. So that's Absolutely. a good start. That's a good start to the factory tour. One of my favorite things. I'm dealing with a vet, so right away it's a positive. Come on in, let me show you around. Now, we're gonna find out what TiO2 is all about. It's a coating system. We're gonna go see my buddy Craig at Randolph Products. We're gonna see what TiO2 coating system is all about. What part is this? Obviously, we're in the chemical part here. Powder, it's a powder. powder. It's a powder warehouse. Those are the inerts that go into the product. Right. Uh, the inerts are what give us the build, gives us the strength to the top coat like uh, the titanium, we use calcium carbonate, put all those pieces together to give them the build on the board. Who would think this much would go behind just getting that coating on a board? Well, there's it, a lot. 
a lot. What happens is, is the laboratory starts to formulate it. it. Takes several months to do that. Right. We have to make sure that we got the right proportion to the resin, and to the to the powders, and everything. And it's because of that work, and because of all of this energy that comes that we put together, is where you get the 25-year life out of the product. That's the whole important part. So you're guaranteeing this for 25 years. You've got to do it right. Absolutely. That's that's the Absolutely. whole thing. Absolutely. What's next on our tour? What they're doing is they're getting a vortex. So what's happening is you got those sharp teeth that I showed you. Right. Those teeth are pulling the pulling all the product from the bottom, and they're bringing it back through, and they're grinding it. And it's uh, it's called a cowl's blade. So it's it's actually shearing the powder and turning it to a liquid, or turning it into a paste. Wow. And then we've got the mineral spirits in there, and that's where they're starting to, to get the liquid and starting to get the build. There's a soya-based resin in here, which is called alkid resin. It's made from soybean. Gotcha. So that's got to come up to a temperature. Right. Got to get the mineral spirits to start to soften the shell of the molecule. Then the powder starts to mix in, and that's how you get your film, your film forming. Wow. That's a lot of work. That's a smart group up front. That's a, oh, that little lab up front yep. that looks like they're not working? Absolute group. They they're don't working. have to work all the time, but when they work, they got to work right. i got to thank Craig from Randolph Products. This is by far one of my favorite factory toys because it's not just cans and paint everywhere and mixing. It's actually something that I use on my hand, right? You proved to me that your coating is the best in the world. It goes onto a piece of wood that's the highest grade possible, and it doesn't stick together. That's the part I'm excited about. It actually works. And then all the other stuff you're talking about, deck coatings and things that you do. Awesome. Love it. Thanks for, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We um, Next up is to see how this works. Checking wet mills here. He needs five and a half to six dots. And he's got it yep. approved. Keep going. This piece of wood now has two coats on it. It's heading toward the oven, but I can't even show you how it gets to the oven because it's so unique. Like everything else we do here, it's a one of a kind. There's not some chain system scratching all the wood. So from here, magically, it goes over to the oven and I'm not going to show you. Once we got past the magic part, it's slowly drifting into the oven. If I touch this right now, I'm sure I'll be in a lot of trouble. But every piece looks uniform. It's absolutely perfect. The edges are done. It almost looks fake. It's so baked on there. Three coat system into the oven. See her on the other side. Everything is about detail, right down to the wrapping. Cardboard on the bottom, cardboard on the top. The tags on the end, not painted on. Every single thing, they haven't missed one thing, including wrapping it. She uses bumpers in between. It goes out of here tight as a glove. You'll never find wood that's treated with such care anywhere else except right here. From Randolph Products to HBH Pre-Stain, I now know how this TiO2 Titanium White is the best product. Look for it in your local lumber yards or ask them why they don't have it. My buddy Mark and I are installing piles into the mud today. So Mark and I are going to, I guess, unload this trailer. They look like they're heavy. They are heavy. He's got a system where he shoots water into the mud and you slowly put them in, it sinks, and then the mud comes back in and surrounds it. That's how he builds docks. That's how he builds retaining walls. It's like a real archaic looking system, but it really works well, you'll see. So I got my buddy Mark here. He's supposed to be here at nine o'clock in the morning. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon. And these piles weigh a ton and we're gonna end up in a swamp and there's nothing good about it. So, I wish he had more help. So yes. Mark has high watermark marine, That's right? right? And I've seen him before, we have done some stuff together, but I just, I just want to shake this. Are they nailed together or something? They are not nailed together. They Do are you happy. got some young blood? No. <laughs> no. Me and you. That's it. Huh? That's it. That sucks. These are light. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> so if you've got a dock in this area, anywhere in Charleston, you're going to see how him and I put these in, and you're going to need to call him because not anybody can do this. He has all the equipment. He does real docks. We have him doing a small little retaining wall for us today, but Mark puts in serious docks all over the place. So let's just unload and we'll give this hell. There's not much more to you it, right? You want to share one or you want to just pick one up by yourself? 
I'm gonna try so you can make fun of me. All right. Because I'm sure you. Let me pick them. one up and I'll show you how to do it. Do, do you, let me guess. You loaded them by yourself. I had two guys help me, but we were in a real hurry, so they're not that heavy. They're All not right. that bad. Let's do it. Are you? Th is the pump coming off too? Yeah. All this. Let's yeah. get. It. Here, I'll get the PVC hose, okay. and you get the piles. Oh, look, you even tied it down, sort of. Why is Mark's back hurt him at night? I don't know. Hey, hey, I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. I saw what he did. Lift, push, center. What if you only hit the center? There you go. Oh, God. There it is. Uh, Thank God we don't have a hundred of these. What's this weigh, Mark? Yeah, it probably weighs about 200 pounds, 260. I'll give you weighs more than 200 pounds for sure. I don't know, I think I'm too, I'm 230. Let me jump on your back. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, you, got oh, you got nothing on me. Mark's got me standing in the mud already. You only happen when I'm standing in the mud. I, I made it easier myself though. We're not going out there, but you, you could. Do. And yes, you do. Absolutely. Aren't you afraid of shit? like Absolutely. Yeah. Spiders, they bite you. Uh-uh. Oh yeah. What else is here? You just picked up a crab. Crabs. Uh, they don't really mess with you too much. If you stand in one spot too long, they will. Mess they will, with you. Yeah. yeah. Snakes. I don't like Turtle snakes. I don't like turtles. Yeah, alligators. I definitely don't. We don't have any of this, if right? If you're working, no, you have it, you have it. All right, so we're gonna do this slope thing like to here. Yeah, so they're not gonna stick out much, no, right? That's gonna be the grade. So we'll be about three feet down in the muck with the pile. And that's gonna be plenty for this. For this little bit of yeah. wall, and absolutely. gonna backfill this with whatever. Whatever. There's gonna be a pressure treated wall right alongside it. And it just gives the eye like another seven feet. It just goes now into crap and then into it's the wasted water. land. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't right? do anything. It's just gonna pretty it up, you know now, what I mean? Now, all the way you, along. now you can put gardens out here. You can probably, you know, put sod out here. And put, a, put a deck out here if you wanted to. You know? That's what I was thinking they could do. Throw yeah. a deck out here. A nice deck right here. You got these trees that are wide open. Yeah. You got a yeah, good yeah. view. Exactly what all right. You came, we're late, you unloaded, we're here in the morning, and we're making a mess. Okay. You got boots for me? You want boots? I, well, boots. I don't know. I just got your floor don't you? you <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, can't I just be on the land and help you from here, like, hey, Mark, type of thing? No? You want to? No, no, no. I'll blow this up with you. I just got to get mentally prepared for this. I got to convince myself that your idea is good. All right, see you in the morning, Mark. Okay, brother. I got, uh, got my buddy Mark with me. We're gonna, we're gonna build a little retaining wall. Mark does docks all over the place. Huge docks, small docks, retaining walls. If you gotta put a post in the ground, you're gonna need my buddy Mark, but uh, I don't have a pencil and he wants me to cut these in half. If he's gonna cut them in half, I gotta mark them five feet, so I think I'll do the, yeah, that's five feet. He's gonna be mad at me. That's five feet. Uh-oh, I hate chainsaws. Almost as much as I hate snakes. One snake and I quit. Saw one yesterday over there by that grass line. I didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> one snake and I quit. Never mind the alligator. We get snow in Boston, but we ain't got snakes like this. How's the marking going? Sexy. I only got one more way over here. I don't know why I moved it. Which one did I miss? I don't think this one's cut. Right. Do you? Unless you put it back together. No, you're right. <laughs> And then there's one more over there.
So a few problems. Mark is afraid of nothing. He's standing in the swamp already. And now I get this bright-eyed college student who knows everything about retaining walls. This retaining wall is never going to get done. He knows about snakes. We're not afraid of some snakes, some frogs. Alligators, fish, snapping turtles, elephants, you name it. Every animal that's going to be in here that I'm afraid of, she's not afraid of. And Mark, I think, eats them. Brian is so great at construction. He's from Boston. He does this stuff all the time. But in the south, we get down and dirty. This is a pond. There's not even going to be an alligator. He's looking for sharks, you know. Okay, I saw snakes. They're everywhere. And there's a friggin' alligator. Did you just really say alligators? It's a small pond, and it's salt water. There's no alligators at all. I'm done. So I'm going to lay out the line where the poles are going to go. I, if I see one friggin' snake, there's turtles, you can't see them. There's turtles this big, eyeballing me. This whole country thing is not really for me. We're building a retaining wall here for these people, right? So Mark's used to putting in big docks way out in the mud. He, he climbs in this every day. I'm thinking I may make my own boots out of some bags. So I'm not telling him what I'm doing, but I'm gonna make myself some boots. And I, and I know he's gonna make fun of me, but I already saw turtles and snakes and shit everywhere. Garter snakes, rat snakes, maybe a moccasin. I'm just not, I'm just not good with it. A lot of times they're in the ground, kind of where you're standing. I'm just not gonna stand in there. I've seen gators chasing deer. <sighs> That's just not for me. I've seen them attack dogs. Even if it half works and it leaks a little bit, I'm gonna feel like I'm protected. He needs to get over it. They're only gonna bite him if he's close. Yeah, who's in the swamp now, bitches? Y'all, he does not even know what he's getting himself into. Wow. That's hot, man. You digging my boots? I love them. Pull. If you had some heels with it, <laughs> it'd be on. How's that look? Probably go far as walk back. Right there. I know he's... There you go. Just keep an eye out, man. You could be dead at any corner here. <laughs> All right, what do we need? Generator, pipe. We're going to get set to pop off. Pump. And, um, so you. We're going to start down there and see what happens. All right. So tell me, what, tell me what it does. It sucks in water there. It blows out water here. Pressure blows a hole. It's just the jetting of that water off a small generator that makes the hole. Right. Did you come up with this whole little bad science? Absolutely this is, no. This is old school stuff. This is old school. Yeah. This is how they did it back in the day. There it comes. It's gonna take a minute. Yeah, yeah. Action! It's gonna take a minute. Yeah, yeah. Action! So, a couple things. My boot idea? Good. Kind of. The tape is the bad move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used paint the tape. I didn't know what I was doing. So, this is nothing more than muscle. <laughs> this is, there's no tricks to this. No, it's man work. It's you just, got, you're going to be hurting. It may be just five foot pilings, but you don't lift pilings. No, I don't know what a piling is. Piling like from the tree? The telephone pole. Oh, the dog left the big piling in your yard. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a break. <laughs> Cut.
I am miserable. Mark is in the swamp with his sneakers on and socks and his bare legs, and I've got like trash bags that I made boots out of. One of them's leaking at this point. There's snakes and shit everywhere. Every god bug in the world. I told him I'd help him on a few docks. He will never see me again. Once this one's done, goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, swamp. I just, I just want another job. Coming up on American Builder, Brian builds his only dock. I'm never doing this again. Until he asked me to. Ready? There's a lot to it. Building a dock, 101. Number one, you gotta like being in the mud. Climate is going in. Oh. The whole thing oh. is Hercules. Huh? What you great at? <laughs> it's Hercules. <laughs> almost fell in. I you know, almost fell in, dude. There you go. This sucks. The water is really warm, by the way. That pressure, you can't stand still for long because. Then you become a pole. <laughs> Nothing like washing. Nothing like, <laughs> Nothing like just clean up, man. Who cares? Yeah. Okay, so Mark and I had done the retaining wall, high water mark, marine construction. So do you do like yachts, boats, docks? It doesn't matter to you. That's correct. Like how big? We can do it up to a thousand feet here in Charleston, and um, you know we can do them twenty feet. Thanks, Mark. Let's clean up, and you don't mind if I get out of the mic. I mean, I don't mind helping, but hopefully the next job is cleaner than this job. Well, you got to wear the skirt with that. I'm just saying. Okay, we came, we saw, we did. I've been in a swamp for a couple of hours, but Mark's little technique with the water and how the poles go in—that's pretty cool. He knows what he's doing. If you need a dock. Get a hold of Mark as soon as you can. He's busy, he's everywhere in the Carolinas putting docks in. But I won't be there to help. See you next time.